and to the first American killed in Iraq in this urgent effort to take out ISIS. Americans are backing up the Iraqis right now, and this evening, look at this. A missile taking aim at a car driven by an ISIS suicide bomber. That car destroyed just one of several missiles, and you're about to see them all. ABC's Alex Marquardt on the front lines again tonight. An ISIS suicide bomber speeding towards advancing forces today. Rocket finally taking it out. Then that second car bomb, the U.S. backed Kurdish forces making the direct hit. Suicide bombers have been the go to tactic of ISIS, dozens deployed. And tonight, possibly a new weapon drones, some armed with explosives. Kurdish forces spraying the sky and bringing one of them down. Today saw some of the fiercest fighting yet. U.S. soldiers assisting from the air and advising on the ground, tonight mourning one of their own, that American service member killed by an IED. The commander of the U.S.-led coalition telling the BBC ISIS will likely use human shields. They are a very uh, resilient and challenging foe. They're very adaptable, uh, very creative, cunning. Uh, we've seen all kinds of examples of that. David, we're learning tonight that this battle is playing out online as well. Britain, which is part of the coalition, saying that cyber warfare is being used against ISIS for the first time in this campaign. David? Our thanks to Alex Marquardt.